but I can't understand why they would take such a, a God-serving person. Tonight, the FBI and the State Department have joined in the investigation into the disappearance of Sister Sue Ellen Tennyson. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Sister Tennyson is the New Orleans nun kidnapped by armed men yesterday in West Africa. Yeah, Paul Murphy reports her friends and fellow Marianite sisters are leaning on their faith, praying for her safe return. From an early age, Sue Ellen Tennyson had a calling to help the less fortunate. That led the Kenner native to join the Marianite Sisters of the Holy Cross. After a lifetime ministering in the New Orleans area, she headed to a small impoverished country in West Africa called Burkina Faso in 2014 to establish a church and medical clinic. Right now in this phase of her life, that's where she was needed most, to serve these people. Tuesday, armed men abducted the 83-year-old in the middle of the night. The U.S. leader for the Covington-based Marianites told WWL-TV there were five people in the house when the men ransacked the home. Sister Sue Ellen was the only one taken. They believe that there were more than 10 men. We know that they were armed. Um, we know that Sister Sue Ellen was in her room and probably sleeping and that she was taken blindfolded without shoes without her cell phone. Marianite sisters Anne LaCour and Renee Daigle spoke to us from France where they are visiting the order's mother house in Le Mans. You know, we don't know where she is. We don't know how she is. We don't know how she's being treated. If they have any intention of returning her. As late as this afternoon, both Renee and I have been on the phone with the FBI in Paris who are working with the FBI in Burkina Faso. Um, at this point, they don't have a lot of leads. Sister Sue Ellen's close friend, Shirley Lockman, says it's hard to comprehend why anyone would want to kidnap someone who has devoted her life to serving others. I'm totally confused. It's like, uh, it's hard to wrap my brain around, you know, that I actually know someone who has been hijacked by terrorists. Armed groups, some with extremist ties, have overrun large swaths of the territory where Sister Sue Ellen's mission is located. The FBI, the embassy, the nuncios, I mean, everybody that can be helping, I think, is. Sister Sue Ellen's friends and fellow Marianite Sisters of the Holy Cross are leaning on their faith, hoping and praying for her safe and speedy release. All I can do is hope and put it in the hands of God that they will find her and she will be safe and come home. I believe that in this time of Lent, there will be resurrection and Sue Ellen will be back with us. When and where, we do not know. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. New Orleans Catholic Archbishop Gregory Amon released a statement expressing sadness and shock over the kidnapping. He said in part, quote, please join me in praying for Sister Sue Ellen, the Marianite Sisters of the Holy Cross, and all who know and love her during this difficult time.